Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 23-year-old patient who complains of chronic headaches, head pressure, and they wanted to do an MRI to make sure they didn't have multiple sclerosis or uh, migraine headaches or a mass within the brain or any other findings. So they did an MRI, and here we see the brain parenchyma. This is the right cerebral hemisphere, left cerebral hemisphere. Everything is symmetric. This slit here is the right lateral ventricle, left lateral ventricle. Those are normal in size. Rarely people can have obstructions and the ventricles will be dilated called hydrocephalus. That can cause headaches and other findings. But they, that looks normal. We have another uh, sequence here that's very, very sensitive for any abnormalities. People who have um, migraine headaches usually have little scattered specks in the brain and this patient did not have any of those. So the brain parenchyma looked completely normal. And as we went down here further, we could see that there was a problem between their eyes. The maxillary sinuses, ethmoid sinuses, and frontal sinuses all had mucosal thickening. So I'm going to scoot this back here and show you what that looks like. So this is the left eye, right eye, and between the eyes we have the ethmoid sinuses. This is the left and right ethmoid sinus. Normally they should be perfectly black because there's a little bone in there that's dark and air which is dark. So normally this whole area should be dark, just like back here. This is the sphenoid sinus filled with air. And again, this is the left ethmoid sinus and it's packed in with some mucosal thickening. Here's the right ethmoid sinus with mucosal thickening. And we come down here to the right maxillary sinus and we see this round area that's really white. This is what we call a retention cyst. It's a cyst in the right maxillary sinus. The left maxillary sinus had this little rim of brightness, a little bit of mucosal thickening. Also, you can see here this nasal septum. We should have a very straight band in the middle. This nasal septum is deviated towards the left here. So they have nasal septal deviation here, you can see. And they also had a little bit of fluid and a mucosal thickening in this top here. This is the left frontal sinus. So they did have some sinus disease that would explain their headaches and uh, pressure in the brain. So I believe these are sinus headaches because the brain looks normal. This is just another view where you can see the right eye, left eye. You can see the sinus disease from a different angle. This is that left frontal sinus that has the brightness in it. This is that retention cyst in the right maxillary sinus. And also the sinuses communicate with each other through these little narrow channels. And there's a channel that goes from right here. This is little channel and it looks like that may be occluded by the mucosal thickening. There's another little channel here, an air channel, potential air channel, and this one looks like the mucosal thickening. This little bright line is a little too thick and so that's occluded. So this occlusion on both sides is causing a change in pressure, pressure differential across this. The air cannot communicate and that'll uh, cause sinus headaches. So they have a normal brain thankfully, but mucosal thickening within the sinuses. Thank you very much.